Hello, my name is Kimberly Sanders with the Bryan University Information Technology Services Department. Today we're going to set up our Case Catalyst. With this video, it is applicable for Case Catalyst versions 12 and newer. So let's begin. You want to first start by inserting your Case Catalyst disk into your CD-ROM drive. If you do not have a CD-ROM drive, you can always obtain a digital copy of the setup file from stenograph.com so once you have either inserted the disk or have received that download file, you will want to double click the setup2.exe file. Once you click the setup2 file, it will then open up this window. So let's proceed with installing our Case Catalyst. So let's click Next and then accept the terms of our license agreement and click Next. On this screen here, it is prompting you for your product key code. Your product key code will be emailed to you from Stenograph. You'll simply have to type or paste in the product key code in the field below. If you do not have your product key code at this time, there are no worries. You can simply click Next to proceed to the following screens and complete your installation. And then once the installation has been completed, you can then refer back to the Case Catalyst program with your product key code. Enter the product key code and it will then open up your Case Catalyst program. Now with the product key code, as I mentioned, it will be emailed from Stenograph. So as you see here, this is a sample email of what the product key code will look like. The PKC, as it's also known as, will be an alphanumeric string. So just make note of that email. If you're not sure whether or not you have received this email, just open up your email program. In the search bar, type in Stenograph and then you'll be able to locate your email with that product key code. So since I do not have my product key code with me at the moment, I will click Next to proceed through the installation process. On the following screen, you'll want to make sure Typical is selected and click Next. On this screen, you can create a username. So the username is the name we never see, so you can call it whatever you want. So I shall call my user Kim Possible. I'll click Next. It will give me a brief summary of the items it's going to install. Now I'll click the Install button. So at this point, we want to just allow some time for the installation to complete. This process can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. So just be patient and make sure you do not power down your computer while this process is completing. And as you can see here, it is extracting a lot of items. So once we've progressed past this portion, we will then move on to entering in our product key code. Now that our installation has completed, it is giving us a summary. So you can simply click, well, uncheck the release notes and click finish. Next, it will open up our Case Catalyst program and it will give me the opportunity to enter in that product key code as I mentioned earlier. Now that our Case Catalyst program has opened, I now have the opportunity to enter in my product key code. So I will simply go to my email and as you see I had typed in PKC into my search box where I have located the email with my product key code. So I will simply highlight, right click and copy and then just paste the product key code in. Now that I pasted in the product key code, I just have to click automatic E key to generate that E key. So let's go ahead. So now it has downloaded that information and it has saved the Case Catalyst license file. So I will click finish and it will open up my product. So the next steps that you'll need to do at this point is to set up your real-time writer and to set up your personal dictionary. Please view the next video in this series to set up your personal dictionary and to set up your real-time writer.